What's up guys, Kevin here, back again with another video. Today I will be reviewing the J95PL BAM in RAF green or RAF green. So this model and this jacket, I believe first appeared um, during spring, summer 22, when they had a Windstopper version of it, where the material was very uh, like shiny and I believe it came in black, a coyote, and then a black and coyote where the arm was a uh, a different color. Um, personally, I didn't really like uh, how how sort of like shiny the material looked. I thought it kind of made it look weird and a little bit cheap. Uh, so I ended up passing on it. Although uh, like Errolson did say like you know that this is the best coach jacket ever, and I was like okay, but that's fine. I just don't like the appeal of it. It doesn't look that great. Now for fall winter or the autumn winter season, uh, they actually released it in gray black and the raf green that i have here and i thought it looked amazing especially because they made the material change to gore-tex infinium uh, as well as uh, had sort of more of like a muted sort of color scheme i was really torn between the raf green and the gray but i ended up deciding to go with uh, the raf green the J95PL takes all of the simplicity, attitude, and the versatility of this staple and injects it with the motion optimized and the utility expanding DNA of acronym. The two-stage center front pocket has an escape zip for quick entry and exit, as well as a web tape mounted press buttons so that it can be easily one-handed. The second additional zip can also turn into a collar sort of going up so you can have a full neck coverage. There's also acronym speed lock, which allows for rapid changing of the silhouette and also allowing for it to be a little bit more form fitting. So the cut of the jacket is a straight cut. Uh, it has a two layer gore windstopper shell, as well as a permaloft uh, gold like insulated active. Uh, so it is pretty warm in my opinion. Um, I've definitely had just a t-shirt and this on. And uh, like lately in the Bay Area, it's been really rainy and it's been really, really cold and windy. And this is my go-to jacket just pretty much consistently. And it's really held up. Um, on the days that it's not rainy, I take the hood off because the hood is actually attached by um, a few like buttons as well as just wear it like a normal coach jacket. The addition of the hood, I think is like really, really paramount to being able to be like an all in one jacket. Cause especially when rain start happening out of nowhere and you're left without a hood, you're kind of SOL with a normal coach jacket. But with the acronym J95PL, it has that hood attachment and you can detach and you can quickly store it away for I guess future use or if you don't want that clunky hood on you can just take it off and have a more streamlined silhouette when the rain stops. So going on to the details kind of like acronym said that there are two like center zippers one that is an escape zip and one that is a full zip. The escape zip goes all the way up to the collar while the normal zip kind of stops at the neck. Uh, it also has like all of these buttons that you can use and it has that one-handed capability and you can do a quick, I guess, quick unjacketing, if that makes sense, um, with just one hand, like using the escape zip. And another thing, like I mentioned, is that it has that kind of detachable hood. It's a very sturdy feeling buckle or sturdy feeling buttons, I mean. Um, and then I personally really, really like the functionality of it. It has, you know, the jacket sling that we always are expecting with almost all the acronym jackets. It also has those sort of attachments here. I believe like this one's the magnetic one for the headphones and this one just has the acronym logo. Uh, and then at the bottoms, it has two toggles that allow for a little bit more of like a tightening of the silhouette, which I think looks really, really cool when you have like the bottom one or two uh, buttons undone and you can kind of uh, like cinch it down and then it kind of creates like a interesting kind of V sort of shape. I really like that. Uh, the back of the jacket, there really isn't much to it. There is some articulation detail right by the shoulder to allow for a little bit more of like a 3D movement. But like other than that, the jacket itself is just really well made in my opinion. And it is really, in my opinion, the best 
jacket that allows you to go from like something that looks really tech to something that looks really, really normal. Because to a normal person, this just looks like a coach jacket, but it has all of the little extra details that kind of make tech wear tech wear like without looking like cosplay this looks like it can fit in almost everybody's wardrobe very seamlessly like just like that and then bam you could detach like that so there's two internal mesh zippers that have a, uh, a ykk zipper locked and then two front zippers this is an aquaguard ykk both of these and it's a pretty simple jacket. I know a lot of acronym jackets, they end up having like 16 different pockets. This has four, I believe. And it's just a very simple jacket and you won't be searching through all of your jacket pockets to try and find where your house keys are. So I actually purchased this jacket on the 20th of February. Today is the 12th and I've been wearing it pretty much as soon as I got it, uh, which was probably like a few days after then. I've been wearing it consistently, like every single, pretty much day I've been using this and then the V91 yes it was the V91 but this one is honestly my go-to uh, now in terms of sizing I went a size small I did try this out in store first before I made the purchase online um, the in store I tried on a medium as well as a small originally I thought I was gonna be a medium just because a lot of the times uh, like jackets their shoulder comes up a little bit short on me or a little bit tight on me, I should say. So I ended up going with a medium for a lot of other jackets. But with this one, I went with a small just because the sales associate and like I could even see that the arms are a little bit roomier, I would say, compared to especially the previous season and a pure, previous few other jackets. Um, so I would recommend maybe trying it out. If you can't try it out, I would say if you want it to fit like mine, maybe size down one. Typically, I do wear like a medium, uh, unless the jacket or like whatever like article of clothing is super oversized. Um, but yeah, this is just some, uh, I guess, food for thought. So yeah, I will show you guys some outfits with the J95PL. Please let me know, like, what do you guys think about this jacket? I know it's not super tech wear e, but it has all the features that you would want in a tech wear jacket. I really enjoy it and I will definitely get a lot more wear out of this compared to like something like a shell, especially because it has some really nice insulation and all that. Hey guys, sorry, this is post recording Kevin. I forgot to mention there's a whole section about cons that I didn't like. Very unprofessional of me, my apologies but there are a few cons of this jacket that I kind of didn't like about it. So instead of being completely biased and just talking about the pros, let's talk about some of the cons. In my opinion, this jacket for retail is pretty expensive. So like other acronym jackets, it's not the most expensive, but it also isn't the cheapest. Um, I would say that this is good if you wanted to just get one acronym jacket and that's like the end all be all, you wanna just like dip your toe into the ecosystem. I think this is a great intro jacket, but if you already have a bunch of other uh, like insulated jackets, then I would recommend maybe going for something else, either a vest or maybe picking up something that is a little bit more like, like signature, like acronym, I would say, if you want that sort of look. This look is not for people who wanna look like they have acronym. This is the look that people want if they wanna blend it into their already existing wardrobe a little bit. Or for those that wanna have some technical wear, but also not go like full tech wear, if you get what I'm saying, where you could definitely wear this with like a pair of slacks or a pair of jeans or like anything like that. Uh, like another con is that you guys can kind of see right now, I took the storm hood off and I put it into the interior like holster pocket, but because of the fact that the storm hood is uh, like filled with the insulin, or the insulator, I would say, it makes it quite thick. So it's not a very easy packable hood where you can get it to go down, but like this is probably as good as you're gonna get. And it kind of makes the jacket sort of poof out a little bit. It's good that the packets are, or the pockets are in like a holster sort of setup where it's not like directly up here. It's a little bit off to the back. So it really kind of 
forms to your body instead of having it like a chest pocket and it just make one of your chests look big. Um, another thing, in my opinion, is a design thing that I personally would have changed. I would say that the buttons, although it is a very, very classic coach jacket look, I would have liked it if it was sort of hidden. I thought it would be really cool if the buttons were either covered by a fabric or it's like a button on the interior where you don't visibly see the button on the exterior or even like paint the buttons or have the buttons be a different color, have it be the same uh, like RAF. So it's kind of all like uniform. I thought that would have looked much nicer, uh, but you know, that's sort of like a design preference in my opinion. Uh, like other than that, I am a pretty big fan of this jacket. I do like, like something that I forgot to mention that there is sort of wrist tightening where it gives the silhouette a little bit more of like aggressive look. You guys will see that on the on body because I just filmed it. Um, and I also kind of wish that the neck opening of the collar was a little bit more forgiving. I'll show you guys right now, but it's quite tight on my neck. It almost, uh, almost feels like someone's choking. My wife doesn't love me. Uh, like anyways, yeah, so it is a little bit tight on my neck. So that is something that I don't know, like like my fucking neck diameter, I don't know if that's like fucking massive or not, but you know, you guys can take whatever you feel from that. But yeah, those are all the cons. I guess I'll jump back in time and edit this in. Ah! Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.